9. september je na celom Slovensku pamätným dňom obetí holokaustu a rasového násilia. V tento deň v roku 1941 slovenský štát prijal tzv. židovský kódex. Tento kódex bol sériou zákonov a nariadení, ktoré zbavili 80 tisíc slovenských židov ich práv a postavili ich na okraj spoločnosti. Počuť ich príbehy je čoraz zácnejšie a preto nedovolíme, aby boli prekričané hlasmi nenávisti. Slovami moldavského rodáka Maxa Eisena si pripomíname, čo sa v tomto tragickom období dialo. Two gendarmes kicked in our door. They were yelling and screaming. Can you imagine what a rude awakening this was? Two gendarmes, Hungarian gendarmes. They are a very brutal bunch. They wore black riding boots and the black fedora hats with red rooster tail feathers. They were yelling. You have two minutes to pack a bundle. If you have any money or jewelry, hand it over. Because where you are going, you are going to have no need of this. What do you make of this? Imagine in 1944, we Hungarian Jews, we didn't know what was going on across the Carpathian Mountains in occupied Poland. Not knowing is a terrible, terrible thing. I was talking for every Jewish family in town. I believe that I could remember about 75% of the Jewish people that lived in this beautiful town. It was called Sepchi under the Hungarians. Uh, I think I can tell you in 1939 when um, Czechoslovakia was partitioned, where I lived, we were given to Hungary and that was a terrible day. Our life totally went upside down from that moment on. In the last year of the war, it was a terrible thing. 450,000 Hungarian Jews were gassed in Auschwitz, including my family. And you know, you don't get over these things. You cannot forget these things. And above all, I cannot forget or forgive my mother, who was a young woman, my guardian angel, with her three children and my grandparents was pushed in into a gas chamber in Birkenau, Auschwitz with 2,000 people and so brutally murdered by gas. You see, this is what we live with for this very day. It's not something that you can forgive and forget. And I believe that youth are the future of every, every nation and they need to be taught and they need to learn this terrible event must never be forgotten. If we, can, if we can't learn from the past, we are doomed to relive the same terrible disasters.